talking playboys welcome back to the channel and before we jump into today's video i want to say thank you guys for selling out well not selling out thank you guys for selling me out on all the air fresheners that's crazy like sold all of them in one day and not have to buy more because everybody's dm me saying hey bro where's the air fresheners we want some more so yeah man you guys gotta just wait because some things take kind of take take kind of long to make but no fear thank you guys for buying all the air fresheners i still have some like other merch on the site like hats and uh, I got one black decal, and I still have my keychains if you guys want to purchase those. So, yeah, anything you guys do helps me a lot. Even just liking this video helps me a lot. So, yeah, man, let's get into today's video because that's what y'all came here to see. Let's get it. Today's video is sponsored by Bosla. I think that's how you say it. B-O-S-L-L-A. Bosla. Bosla? I'm going to call y'all Balsa, but yeah, today's video is sponsored by Balsa. Shout out to them for sending me these headlights. I know you guys are like, damn, another headlight video, but like, I mean, not headlight, but LED. But this one's different. This is the world's first four and one headlight, like literally. These things are cool. They have four different settings, and it's just one headlight. I, like, you guys, like, come on, bro. Where do you guys find that at? And I got a coupon code for you guys to use. Use code Zuvi. Right there. See that bad boy spinning? Look at that spinning can't really make it oh uh, yeah spinning but uh yeah use that code and then get you 20 percent off and uh yeah man you guys welcome well yeah let's show you guys the problem let's get it some pretty cool design headlights i can't even lie to you guys but uh today we're gonna be installing them as fog lights because i already have led headlights and i don't need another set but the fogs you always can get some led fogs especially because these are not that different because i still can make them yellow so yeah that means i'm gonna have to take off the yellow tent though because yellow on yellow is like i don't know that's like mustard or mustard Knife Gen SI hands down has the best interior out of all the SIs. Don't at me, don't care, I won't respond. Stupid. All right, guys, so let's jump into the install. So basically what you guys are gonna do, you're gonna pop off this tab right here. Well, not really, not really a tab, but like you're gonna take off your fog light cover, which is right here. You just pull it off, it should come off pretty easy. Like that. There should be a screw right there. Focus. I don't know if you guys can see that. Come on. Come on. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up. But there's a screw right there. And then there's one literally right there. And uh unscrew both of those screws and your fog light should be able to pop out, disconnect it, and then uh yeah, I'll show you guys what to do after that. Alright guys, so once you get those two screws out, your fog light should be able to just pull out. And then next thing you want to do is just disconnect it from right there. It's really simple, can't really do it with one hand, but yeah, disconnect it right there. And then uh, this should be able to pull out. So I need to stop doing this. I keep going forward in the process of installing something and I don't show you guys what I'm doing. But yeah, the light is all mounted up. I mean, it's pretty easy for you guys to do this. If you guys don't know how to do this, then like, um, I don't know if the car stuff is for you, bro. But literally what you want to do is get your light, you connect it. It's going to be this part right here. You screw it on and uh, that's it. Uh, for the fog lights, there are, what are the fog lights? Fog lights are H8, H9, H11s. I think these are H11s. 
you also could go on Google and just search it up and uh it'll definitely tell you because I I honestly don't remember what I put but I think these are HD11s don't quote me on that but it's time to finally remove the yellow tent off my fog light this tent has been on my fog light since I don't even, I can't even tell you guys like this this thing been on my fog light for probably over a year now or probably over two years now I can even have I can even link the video to where I did this and I only had like 500 subs not even 500 subs I only had like 200 subs at that time when I actually did this video but yeah it's finally time to take it off all right so what I'm gonna be using to remove the tent is literally a heat gun uh hopefully I could heat it up and put my finger down underneath it and just like pull it off without like pulling off the clear off the fog light itself but uh yeah man here goes nothing five minutes later you guys that was such a fail i didn't press record that was that was that was a waste of time but uh yeah at least i got it off you are so dumb if you guys do have yellow tent on your fog light make sure you guys do heat it up because like it makes it easier to come off and you don't have all that nasty residue when you just rip it off so yeah came off pretty clean it's not even sticky feels nice and smooth still yes sir all right guys so if you guys want to remove your stock bulb literally what you want to do is turn it like that like like that uh why did it pop like that but yeah you turn it and you just literally pull it out and then boom there you go there goes your fog light and now you install that new bad boy in like yes sir One thing that's pretty cool about these headlights is that you could adjust them by just turning the back. So like, you could turn them, if I could do it with one hand, you guys can see it's turning. And you can put it vertical, like how it's supposed to be. It's pretty cool. Not a lot of headlights, uh, not a lot of headlight companies provide that. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie you guys, it's pretty cool to see that it changes colors like that. It's also pretty cool to know that I'm one of the only knife gen artists who have this on their car too. Well, not the only, but probably like one of the first. Cause I don't know if you guys are gonna buy it, so that can't make me the only one no more. When you guys go pick up your set, make sure you use code Zuby. I don't get anything from it, just to help you guys, it's 20% off. So make sure you guys use that code. It helps you save some money. And also it helps you, you know, be cool like this. Cause I ain't gonna lie, it's some pretty cool headlights. Well, fog lights. All right, guys, so let's put this thing back together and uh, start on the passenger side. All right, guys, so when I was trying to put it back in, I noticed that when this one, well, when this is inside the fog light housing and you're trying to put it back, it actually hits the back of here. So I'm going to see if I could just, like, dremel that part out, like, just this part right here. Well, I can't even show you guys. This part right here, the back piece, and uh, hopefully this could fit. So, yeah, I'm going to get back to you guys. Hopefully it fits. Day two. All right, so day two, cause first day I ran out of time, it was getting dark, and I didn't get to finish doing what I was doing. So uh, yeah, back to the video. Uh, what I was explaining last time in the video was that I wasn't able to put the, the fog lights in because of like the back piecing of the, I don't even know, like the assembly of the bumper and stuff. It blocks the the project, not the projector, but the fan. It blocks the fan, so. It's, it's hitting the fan, so I can't really push it in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jack up the car, and then I'm going to, you know, cut some slots and bend that plastic back so I can have a little space for the, for the fans to go inside. And I don't think it's very important for me, like, you know, to really show you guys how to do that. It's really cutting into something, but... Yeah, I, I just don't want to jack up the car because... I don't know. Jacking up a lower car is just a pain in the butt sometimes, man. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It looked nice! Lowering your car, but then you gotta jack it up. Then you gotta put wheel blocks. Well, you always gotta put wheel blocks, but 
you gotta put like the, the car on blogs. It just sucks sometimes. Yeah. Alright guys, so basically what I'm going to do is remove this piece right here under the car and once I move this piece, I should be able to get access to that little piece. You guys can't see it because it's dark under here, but yeah, once I remove this, I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so I got one of the fog lights in. It was a pain in the butt to put in. As you guys can see, that's all the pieces. But uh, really, this is what you want yours to look like so your, uh, your bulb can fit. This is what I did to mine. I used a Dremel and I just Dremeled it and you know. Had it coming out pretty good. I should sand it, but I don't really care because you're not going to see it. But yo, that's a perfect rectangle or square or whatever you want to call it. But yo, it looks nice. So yeah, this is the passenger side. Um, this is the one I'm working on right now. So I'm going to put everything back together. And then, uh, yeah, man. Show you guys what them bad boys look like. If you guys do have a Dremel, please use some safety glasses or use some sunglasses or just glasses in general so you don't hurt yourself. Damn, this thing looks nice, boy. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I kind of like it better without the, without the yellow. So far, so far, so good. I like it. It's different. It's di What am I doing? It's nothing there. Ooh, this is hard. This is hard. Hold on, let me change the mode. That's so freaking fire. And all you gotta do to change the mode is go like this. Boop, boop, boop. And now it should be yellow. Wait, that's not the yellow I'm looking for. Okay, you gotta do it two times to get a full yellow. So one, two. All right, so that's the third, third. That's fire. That is freaking fire. Yes, sir. Bro, look how nice the car looks in this sunset. I think it's time for a cinematic. Hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic video I shot. But yeah, this is where I'm end off the video. Hope Yo, these birds are disrespectful. Like I was saying, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please make sure you guys like the video. It helps me so much. You guys liked my last video. I got like over 100 likes. And like that brought, like, I don't even, bro, I was just smiling. I was just really smiling. But yeah, this is my mouth the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe for the second time. Your boy's out. Peace.